Alright, welcome to Pokemon Moon Part 10. We're finally going to get to another trial after the uh, ranch area, so... Oh, that's it. That's the, that's the I'm not good at math girl. <laughs> I <love> yeah. her. <laughs> <laughs> and so who's ready for a gender ambiguity character? I, I never got Lana as the gender ambiguity character. Like, she always seemed... Well, everyone was confused at her at first. Oh, pff, dude, this is the it franchise seems... with Bugsy, all right? Like, Lana's yeah. nothing. <laughs> well, no, 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 Bugsy's still the king of that, but... Or queen, uh. we will never know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, look uh, at me in the eyes, and you tell me with a wow, straight face you know that guy's gender first. These two are identical first, twins. Them. They're so identical that they look like all the other preschoolers. <laughs> oh, and they're also... you. Okay, you see, Happiny bothers the shit out of me, because it's a baby Pokemon made in Gen 4. And it's just like, okay, like... All of the, the baby Pokemon that exist outside of Gen 2 just bother me. Because, like, okay, some babies are born as babies, but only if they have this specific item held by their parents when they have sex. Yeah, but Otherwise, say, Azur they're born Azuril as fully like, grown people. Yeah, like, like Azuril <laughs> doesn't make any sense, or Munchlax doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's, is is it me, or is that baby Chansey holding an egg in her belly? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it, it is. No, 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 no. It's a rock. <laughs> it's not um, old enough to uh, be. It, it's yeah. It's Pokédex entry. One one of the generations Pokédex entry clearly states that um, to train for its like it, its future life, it it'll carry a rock. Oh, so before it's it actually like gets okay. humans with baby dolls. Okay. I suppose okay. so. Yeah, but it, it gets really weird when the rock starts. Peeing. Okay. So fun fact: the Chansey is the metal slime of Pokemon in that it gives the most experience. The luck and in Japanese, its name is Lucky, like the English word Lucky. Um, so the lucky egg is actually supposed to be a chancy egg, but they didn't translate it right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Although they, they have fixed some of those things before, because for the longest time, faint attack was spelt like faint as in your Pokemon is fainted, as opposed to a faint attack, as in, like, dodging and going from the other side. Wow. And they finally yeah. fixed that in either Gen 6 or Gen 7. And they, they, went they... All, they went all the way with the cowgirl stereotype. She even has the uh, braided pigtails that flare out. That's... That's yep. impressive. Um, is it uh, Memorial Hill where... Uh, oh, bo oh, boy, it's Edgy the Hedgy. <laughs> oh, Captain Arthritis. <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I mean when what he actually starts. The... Yeah. Heaven won't save me. Hell is a joke. <laughs> Hell is a joke. <laughs> wake me up. Wake me up. I can't wake up. Use awakening on this Pokemon <laughs> that is asleep. <laughs> I love how you can be such a smartass in this game with the, the choices. Oh, I, I, I love it when Nintendo lets you be a huge smartass. That's why everyone loves the Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Yeah. So Gladion's kind of trying sort of a little bit to be the, the threatening rival, but they kind of drop that pretty pretty quickly. I mean, he's an interesting character for sure, but... He's interesting, but I think the game is kind of aware that he's a tryhard. Yeah, well, I what mean, that's... What the fuck was that pose? It, Captain yeah, Arthritis. Yeah, no, it's like, why does he shake so convulsively? Just look at him! Look at his pose. hand is in serious pain! He needs to get that checked out. Yeah. <laughs> what is he, Dr. Strangelove? Yeah. He looks like he's trying to spawn a devil bringer. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I just wish that Glad you fought Gladion like a few more times before the Aether Paradise stuff is the thing. Man, because you fight kid, him like twice. <laughs> this kid could be a No More Heroes boss. Probably, yeah. <laughs> he also has a super duper ultra Pokemon, legendary Pokemon with Type Null here. Like this is not what a Pokemon you can. Fuck. This is not a Pokemon you can catch normally. Um, so this is like... It's a, a get Pokemon. Yeah, it's a super special, like... So it looks I think, like a construct from Return to Oz. There's a, it is. There's a reason for it. <laughs> like, you'll see it later. But I just kind of wish that you fought him, like, two or three more times to really give you an idea of what the character's like before he becomes, like, your reluctant ally later in the game. Which happens. Like, because, of course... But yeah, I, I mean, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I okay. Try hard. God, OC. that thar's so crap. Try hard. OC has a super special legendary Pokemon all of his own. That's an amalgamation of other concepts because whoever designed it couldn't think of a concept of their own. Yeah, yeah, I can see this guy uh, being that well, guy, that character. Well, I mean, I when you learn more about Type Null and its lore and shit, I, I actually and its evolved form, I actually do like the design a lot. But when just looking at it like this, it is one of the most what the fuck Pokemon <laughs> in the game. Well, it's also no, the ev kind everyone of was everyone was like what the fuck fan fiction on that. So. Yeah, like, uh, geez, this 
I mean, yeah, he is your self-insert fan character, <laughs> pretty much. I'm just but he's actually to... done well, though, is the thing. I- I'm just waiting for him to jump up on a table and start a badass musical number. And yeah, I know, the words badass and musical number shouldn't be in the same sentence together, but fan fiction <laughs> authors disagree. I don't know, it can happen. Like, <laughs> I mean, like... Hey guys, you want to go to my death metal recital? It's supposed to make the character look like a stud, but it just kind of makes them look really. Oh, you see, there's nothing. Okay, you, Ryan challenged. made the right choice here because there's nothing more deadly to a uh, an itchy preteen than Michael Bolton. <laughs> that <laughs> smiles and hugs. <laughs> uh, and this is why Poplio is best starter, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The hair, oh, no, it's too like fabulous. A double dips. <laughs> what's this? A freaking clown nose? You're trying uh, to get me to laugh? I don't have any laughter inside of my soul. What was the name of the? What's the name of the? Uh, of that, uh, N from N. Black N and from Black and White. Yeah. And White yes. Uh, bring yeah. him back, please. Captain N, the game master. <laughs> um, you see, they. I don't know what they do with N if they brought him back. No, 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 no. I just care- mean like compared to this guy. <laughs> I could take N seriously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're I mean, not really supposed to take him seriously until the yeah, mid game. Yeah, he's 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 kind of got hard. that. He's kind of got that. He's he's the, he's the he's the. Uh, yeah, you didn't win. I just screwed up. He's yeah. the he's the the amount. He he's he's the logical extreme that 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 team skulls general attitude leads to <laughs> well but, yeah and that's kind of the point yeah but the interesting thing is he's not really a member of team skull like these guys here are like no nah, man you're a loser we're way oh, cooler than you <laughs> for a moment i thought like the the team skull girl in the background had a little bit more dignity than her partner but then she strikes that pose no no she's just <laughs> a little bit more reserved in how little dignity she has okay <laughs> Oh no! The 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 team skull women when you get to the team skull base later in the game are actually some of the funniest characters in the game. <laughs> Dude, you're taking my top. We wear the same top. <laughs> yeah. Why do they all walk like that? You know, Gladion just really makes me want a competitive rival. Like, uh, like Gen- we miss we miss, we we miss Gary and Silver for a reason. Yeah, and I mean, like we kind of get characters that sort of try a little bit, like. Gladion and uh, Hugh sort of, from Black White 2, uh, but they never really get go all out. They don't want to make I, I a character too antagonistic. I sort of understand why later games moved away from having the asshole rival character, because thematically you've got this whole storyline about how 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 nice it is to be a trainer and how you can compete friend in friendship with all these other people and how Pokemon who are fighting each other are really having fun the whole time. But then you have Gary coming along, who's an asshole to his Pokemon, and you have to. Oh no, 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 no! Blue, blue right isn't. Blue, no, it's weird. Blue actually isn't an asshole to his Pokemon. He's just smug. He's yeah, just a yeah, dick. Yeah. It's, well, I should probably point point more to Sil- Silver. Silver, Silver's the asshole. Yeah, but yeah. Silver has a character is, arc. Is the thing though? They can. The, st- the point is though that uh, there's uh, an antagonism there that kind of runs counter to that idea that. That, that the game has, so they kind of wanted to move that away from central focus and have a central rival character that you can compete with in a friendly way. Uh, the problem with that is uh, if you're going to have a compete with in a friendly way relationship between characters, both of those characters kind of have to be characters. Otherwise, there's no chemistry yeah. there. <laughs> and, you mean, uh, yeah, like, they're just you mean exactly like, of being uh, like Brandon, Brandon and May in Gen 3. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they kind of doubled up on the problem in Gen 3. Because Ooh, in, uh, slow down. Oh, it, it gets it, really yep. bad on a standard 3DS. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Gen, Gen 3 had the had the double problem of your main character, whoever that is, being a silent protagonist, and whoever the... Oh, yeah, yeah the slowdown is horrible. Uh, whoever the character you weren't playing as being too <laughs> bland to have a character arc of their own, because they also have to be neutral enough in your mind so that when you play the game again as that character, you can project yourself onto them. Uh, so, uh, in, the, in, in Gen 3's case, they just kind of, they, they, they kind of dug themselves a hole that was a little deeper than it had to be. But in, in the case of, um, uh, say, let's say Barry, Barry is entertaining, uh, well, to a certain kind of player anyway. Was he? <laughs> to a certain kind of player anyway. <laughs> but you, you don't really get a sense for the relationship between the protagonist and Barry because the protagonist has no character. Um, so, it, there's no real spirit of competition 
there's just this character who's good natured and you're competing with them. Um, as a spirit of com uh, competition is a two way thing. You kind of have to fill in the blanks of the competitive, friendly relationship between characters yourself in this game. I think wow. what would help is if they were actually really, really challenging. Wow, the half thing. the half the Pokemon on the field disappear, and suddenly the frame rate's so much better. <laughs> it's <laughs> not quite this bad if you play on a new 3DS, but it still chugs a little oh, bit. Oh Jesus! Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm uh, but to this when I get to it. Yeah, but th since Ryan's recording 3DS as a standard, you have this yeah, problem. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I, I, the thing is, is that if you wanted them to really be someone who you can compete with and you want to beat, I think that the standard, pretty easy to beat Pokemon trainer, is like, because that's actually one of the things about Gary in Red, Blue, and Yellow is that he had it's strong more... Pokemon for the points in the game where you find him. So he his fights yeah, weren't it's, easy. Um, uh, it, it's more like um. Yeah. It is more, it's rival. more a matter of focus. They have the antagonism there in the form of whoever the team is or whoever the big bad of the game is or whoever the one or two um, not not very nice trainers are, but they didn't want the rival of the game who, you're, who you are constantly fighting to be that guy anymore. <laughs> why, why are all the designs of every captain in this game like clearly I am the captain of this particular dude, island. You, 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 dude, you mean, you mean spot the main character? Dude, <laughs> this, okay, this has been the thing. Misty is the water type Pokemon. Her name is Misty. Brock rhymes with rock. His name's freaking Lieutenant Sir. Rocks, yeah, Roxanne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just that's just names, though. I'm talking design wise. You are clearly important <laughs> because you have a fucking tattoo on your hair. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> It's a, I think that's supposed to be it's a fishing a net. It's yeah, it's most likely it's, it's most likely a headpiece. But you know, given like the texturing and how 3D models work in this game, it might as well just be a fucking. It's kind of like color. the blitz balls in Final Fantasy X. Yeah. Well, before the HD update, anyway. Those of you who it's like you got you so see you got Joe, Greg, and Billy here, and then you have Seymour over there, whose head is the shape of a blitz ball. <laughs> Guess who the blitz ball champion is? <laughs> that's right. It was Greg because Seymour would be too obvious. Well, let's see. We have Joey, Tristan, T. Yugi! <laughs> I was, um, it's like, uh, people who got into Final Fantasy X with the HD version, especially the PS4 HD version, won't know this, because the Blitz Balls in those versions are actually really, really rounded out and nice looking. So nice looking that yes. they look out of place, actually. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. the, uh, PlayStation 2 version had Blitz Balls that were too polygonal to be balls. <laughs> they were durians, essentially. <laughs> yeah, Blitz Square. <laughs> durians that people kicked around and didn't kill anybody because, uh, somehow. The Blitz Ball design, and you could clearly see it in the FMVs, is supposed to be this, this you know, a regular ball, but it's got little sphere-shaped uh, um, raised, raised portions all around it so that it can be gripped underwater. Uh, but the in-game model for it was a disaster. <laughs> Blitz off. No, I don't want to. I think it's dangerous. <laughs> Man, you know, we used to be able to surf without putting on a stupid costume. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> na, 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 my favorite, na, my na, favorite na, thing na, about na, na, surf in Pokemon, though, is just that, like, you can use all of your moves normally. You can have Diglett dig underwater. <laughs> like, yeah. you can use an onyx on the surface of the water, and it's fine. Okay, whatever. Oh, also, oh, Wishy Washy's, like, my favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. <laughs> this guy is amazing. I love him. He's, like... Oh, God! When you're surfing, your trainer model has the costume. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, God! Yeah, I oh, love that, that attention so to detail. That looks so terrible. That looks so... That looks so embarrassing to wear. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm guessing you don't spend any money on clothes in this playthrough, Ryan. Nope. Aw, uh, but we have to wear those six shades, yo. I can't believe we're ending a part on me seeing six shades, yo. That's, that's <laughs> dumb. 